Hey guys, welcome back to the Franny channel. Now today, since it's a little late, um, it's 425, so I'm just gonna do a first impressions slash kind of how this product worked. Uh, so I am gonna do it on the Bronx Colors a waterproof foundation. Now, um, I've never heard of this brand before. It's in Ulta. So let me hop on to what Ulta has to say about this. And it's, and it sets. Uh, this bronze colors waterproof foundation can do something that other cosmetics cannot. It stays true to sweat at the gym or lying in the sun in a tropical temperatures. This waterproof formula has an excellent compatibility with the skin and it gives you a medium to strong cover for natural and smooth skin without drying out your skin. Uh, it is a liquid foundation that is recommended for all skin types. So I have it in the color nude and like I said, I've never heard of this foundation before or seen, um, this is the first time I saw it in the Ulta's website. So this guy is around $6.47 and it comes with a pump. See, and it has like the frost glass and then the little lid. So let's go ahead and put this on my face. Uh, I'm going to go with the Confidence, the It Cosmetics Confidence in a little sample size just because I want to finish it. Alright, and I'm going to use the Smashbox uh, primer and I'm going to use it in one side. So I'm going to use it on my right side. All right, now let's get down to business. Let's go ahead and shake. Shake, shake, shake. Let's hope the pump works. All right, so it came out a little runny even though I shaked it, but let's go ahead and just mix it in my hand. That's what it looks like. So let's go ahead and put it on my unprom side, just so that this side can set. I think it's a little light. And I'm gonna use my e.l.f. foundation uh, brush. Right. So that's half of my face with the foundation. It does smell like sunscreen. I do see that it's like medium to full coverage on that just one. On just that one coat, it does look like medium to full. So let's go ahead and do the other side. I'm just gonna pump one more. And it does oxidize a little bit. to the brush.
right, so that is one layer of the foundation. I'm not gonna go ahead and put more just because I feel like you can feel the foundation. So I'm just gonna get my, my little Morphe sponge and I'm gonna press. And that is one layer and it's all smooth out all blended very nicely and so it doesn't feel too sticky but I always like to set my foundations so I'm just gonna use the uh, Rimmel stain mat I'm gonna put a little bit on my So now it's set and let's see. It does look a little heavy like right here on my forehead. Mm, a little bit like right here on the sides of my nose. But other than that, it looks pretty okay. I'm gonna go finish off my makeup and we'll come back to see how it looks with everything set. Um, I will be doing a review on da -da -da -da, the old school Urban Decay um, palette, which is the first one that I own, so I'm a little excited about this. And it's not gonna be a wear test, but I will come back with all my makeup on to show how it looks and then I will come back on the end of the day before I take off my foundation and everything and we'll see how it held up. Uh, so it is 437 so normally I take off my foundation and makeup and everything around like 10, 10 30, 11 ish. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and do errands and do laundry and everything I need to do around the house and I will come back to see how this holds up all right see you guys Bye. hey guys welcome back so i have all my makeup on and just to let you know guys know again i'm trying the bronx color foundation um you 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 can tell you have makeup on like it's not a foundation that's gonna look uh natural it does say that it's full coverage so as of right now As of right now, I don't see anything caking. I do feel the foundation on, so it's the foundation that you can feel that it's on. What I wanna do, or actually no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna go ahead and spray my face with a setting spray, just because I wanna see how the foundation works by itself. And then if I enjoy it, how it looks, then I'll probably use a setting spray, uh, just so I can wear it more. Uh, so right now it is 601 and the foundation was on at four something so it's roughly like an hour and a half that it's been on uh, this was the look I created with the naked palette so if you guys want to go and hop onto that video and see how I created this look go ahead and do so um, I do have some highlighter on and it's this uh, Ivy Beauty highlighter uh, it's kind of like a champagne pink. Um, it's by Ivy Beauty, and I got this on my little Ipsy bag. So, yeah, guys, I'll come back by the end of the day when I have to take all this makeup off, and we'll see how it wears. But for now, that is it, and I'll see you later. Okay. Welcome. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Uh, so 
was something happened in my video that uh, some of the check-ins were deleted from my memory card or my phone or I just deleted them by accident and I deleted the videos from my phone as well so what I did is I went ahead and I put on the foundation the Bronx colors waterproof foundation that I'm reviewing uh, it's currently 416 I did I did put my foundation on like around 3 p.m. like in my last video or in this video at the beginning it was 3 o'clock so the foundation's been on for one hour. Uh, as of right now, what do I think? Let me tell you again, I'm sorry, this video is gonna be all over the place. Um, I did use my primer on my right side again, just like I used it on the video, the original video. Uh, so it's been an hour and um, it's a little heavy. Um, it's a little heavy. You do feel like you have foundation on. Uh, so you do feel it. It doesn't look cakey right now. I did not use a setting spray because I didn't use a setting spray in the original video. So I didn't use a setting spray. And I will come and do my check-ins like per usual. Uh, so this has been, I believe, the first check-in because it's been an hour. And from this hour, mmm... Um, everything's okay I do see like it's a little bit heavy on the forehead and a little bit heavy like right here but I will go ahead and put this makeup to the test now my look is a little bit different yes why because I just did a Spanish video with this look so I'll come back in a couple of hours to check on the foundation and yeah sorry Hey guys, welcome back. So it is 8.25 and this is going to be the second check-in. Now, let's see what we got. Oh, I see a little cakiness right on this area. And then I see some fallout from the mascara. I see where it's rubbed off from my glasses being there and a little bit of cakiness on the middle and all right let's go ahead and blot and see what happens right, so now that i've blotted it's still a little cakey like right here in the middle of my face uh right here on the like around the mouth and chin area. It's rubbed off from the chin. Mm. Forehead doesn't look that bad. So overall, it doesn't look that bad as of yet. I mean, it doesn't look the greatest, but it doesn't look the worst. So the foundation was on at three making this five hours and a half that it's been on so it's not that bad um but let's go ahead and push it a little bit more to see if it gets worse all right all right see you in a bit hey guys welcome back it is the end of the day it is 12 50 almost 1 a.m and the foundation's been on for almost 10 hours. What am I thinking right now? Uh, let's go ahead and check how my face looks. Okay, so before blotting, I see separation and a little bit of cakiness right here in the middle part. Um, separation and a little bit of cakey right here um, my nose does not look that great um, it looks just a little bit heavy so let me go ahead and blot all right 
right now that I'm blotted um, yeah there's totally separation like right here on the center of my face um, it just it looks a little bit cakey um, now it doesn't look too bad I mean I've done reviews on other foundations that are not that great um, this one it's okay I mean I can use it for every day you know just to go to the store or to be around the house or to go somewhere like really really fast even even for 10 hours it, it's okay uh, would I use it for like a party or like a special event do I recommend it uh, I don't think so not for like special events when you want to look very good um, I do recommend it for like everyday use yeah it could work um, will I keep using it of course uh, I would love to have this on my repertoire uh, so I can keep on using it and uh, try it out with different primers or with different moisturizers now as I said primers I don't see very much difference between the primed and the unprimed. The prime and the unprimed side. It looks relatively similar both sides. So I'll use it without primer and I'll use it with primer. And that way at the end of this whole like series of foundations, I can go ahead and give you my review on everything and if I used it differently. Uh, but yeah guys, that was it for this video. If you guys liked it and if you want to watch more videos of mine, just go ahead and uh, hit that like button and subscribe and I will see you guys on the next one.